Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the new agriculture pest that is associated to the banana plant. In this topic, step by step, we focused about the first of all banana plant, then the number of the pest which attack on the banana plant and which cause the severe damage. Third one, that is the one of the major pest, which fits, which attack on the banana plant. That name is the Odoiporus longicollis. Here, we focused about the systematic position of that pest, then the host plant, then the marks of identification of that pest in the form of the larva as well as the adult. Next one, the life cycle. Then the nature of damage and the last one is the control measures. Now about the banana plant whose scientific name is the Musa paradisiaca. The banana is a very popular fruit due to its low price, year round availability, also which has the high nutritive as well as the medicinal value. It has the much more demand due to low fat as well as the cholesterol and which is the healthy food. There are more than 1000 varieties of the banana produced and consumed over all the world. Here, especially in the Asia, Latin America and Africa which is mainly produced. It has also good export potential and the total annual world production is estimated at about 86 million tons of that banana. Globally, India leads the highest banana producers overall the world while other leading producers which followed as the Brazil, Ecuador, China, Philippines, Indonesia, Costa Rica, Mexico, Thailand as well as the Colombia. While in India, the Maharashtra is the highest banana producer followed by the Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and the Assam. Next is the paste of the banana. Around more than 182 insect pest of the banana which are observed in the India. Among that, some of the major pests which cause the severe damage to the banana plants are Odoiporus longicollis, commonly known as the banana stem borer or pseudo stem borer. Then the Cosmopolitus sordidus, banana vivil, Dacus dorsalis, that is oriental fruit fly, which suck the sap of that plant. Nadostoma subcostatum, commonly known as the leaf beetle, and Pentalonia nigro nervosa, that is banana aphid. In addition to that, one of the fungus, that is a TR4, is the tropical race 4, is the soil pathogen, and which cause the severe damage on the banana plant here. Next is the most toward the about Odoiporus longicollis, basically known as the banana stem borer or the pseudo stem borer. First of all, most toward the basic background. The banana stem weevil or banana pseudo stem borer is one of the most important key paste of the banana. This paste is originated in the South and Southeast Asia and widely spread over all the India, then China, Malaysia, Indonesia as well as the Thailand. That pest specially caused or the damage which is caused by the developmental stages basically known as the larva or here in case of the beetles we say that grubs as well as the adults also. During feeding 
that grubs which forms the fine tunnels in the growing shoots and rhizomes due to which the plant becomes weak it is estimated that the grubs as well as the adult which cause the severe damage to that of the plant and ultimately decline the productivity around 10 to 90% of the loss which is carried by that stem weevil now most toward the odoriporus longicollis that is a systematic position up to the control measures this is the adult and first of all most toward the systematic position the phylum arthropoda which include the class insecta order coleoptera that is commonly known as the members basically beetles family curculionidae genus odoriporus and the species longicollis that pest which specially attack on the banana that is a host plant next is the marks of identification here first of all most toward the larva which is commonly known as the grub it is a creamy white stout soft fleshy and legless legless or the apodous that larva here anterior end of that larva that is brownish or the red head is present and at the terminal end where the strong biting and the chewing mouth parts are present after the larva that is adult it is a shiny red or black color or copper color that body and measures about 23 to 39 mm length overall the or the complete length of the body it has elongated and slightly curved snout or the rostrum that head region extended in the form of the elongated slightly curved snout or we say that rostrum its elytra do not cover the abdomen completely elytra that is a four wings we say that here that four wings unable to use for the flight which are tegmenal or which which are thick and not cover overall the abdominal part here it means that last abdominal region which is not completely covered by the four wings or the elytra it is nocturnal in habit that is they are very active during the night it may be for the feeding or even do the reproductions here and strong flyers due to which they can move from plant to plant all the life stages that is the developmental stages as well as the adult are present throughout the year in that area where the banana plants are present next moves toward the life cycle of the stem borer a female can lay about 15 to 21 eggs at the rate of one egg per day throughout the year that is overall the year the female after mating lay a single egg per day and as per the range 15 to 21 eggs whose rate that eggs which are laid by the female by forming the small burrows with the help of the rostrum and associated mouth parts in the rhizome or within the leaf sheath the eggs are cream in color and cylindrical in shape this is the image of that egg after that the incubation period around 3 to 8 days emerges a fleshy yellowish or cream color apodous larvae or the legless larvae here the grubs after emergence which bores the pseudo stem and continuously feeds they are the voracious feeders and when they feeds they form the number of the tunnels total five instars are present in the developmental stages or the larval stages here here as the fifth instar which is transform then enters into the pupal stage which is the non feeding stage and after that they form the cocoon here but here in the complete development of the grub 
into the pupal stage it takes around 25 days here after the pupal stage emerges the adult it takes around 5 to 6 days after emergence they fits on the ground part especially the rhizome part of the plant and then visit to the growing shoots of the banana plant now most toward the nature of the damage the damage which is caused by the both grubs as well as the adults here adults fits during the night on the pseudostems while the grubs on the rhizome whose growing parts may get destroyed here as the severe infection by forming the extensive tunneling by the grubs which initiates the secondary infection and attract the pathogens that pathogens which cause the rotting of the stem and due to which imitate the fall smell after the flowering that is another situation when the infection which is continued after the flowering the fruits do not develop properly or shows premature ripening of the bunch as the infection which is continued which inhibits the translocation of the nutrients as well as the water growth and a development of the plant and attract the another infestation carried by the nematodes here the weakening of the stem by tunneling may result in the breakage by the wind or inability to bear the weight of the maturing bunch here it shows that primary infection then secondary infection and then the infestation by the nematodes the complete plant it becomes the weak and unable to bear the weight of the maturing bunch here and they collapse overall the that 10 to 90 percent of the yield loss carried by that infestation these are the certain images that is a interior part of the pseudostem this is the ts or the transverse section of the pseudostem where the air spaces are present in that air spaces the female lay the eggs here this is the infestation which is carried by the that larval stages as well as the adult these are the outside that small openings or the holes which are present and we shows that that complete damage carried by the developmental stages as well as the adult next one how to control such type of the pest here first of all by using the cultural tactics or the methods here first is the use of uninfested suckers for the plantation it means that during the plantation plantation in the agriculture field we can use the uninfested healthy suckers suckers should be pruned periodically as the growing parts of that suckers should be pruned or cut periodically the infested pseudo stems and dry leaves must be removed from the field and destroyed here that also the very important point because it may contains developmental stages or adults also after the harvesting the banana stumps must be removed and destroyed from the fields here after the cultural methods most toward the chemical methods as the population which is increases of that pest we can use the chemical method here the application of 0.2 percent dialdrin 0.4 percent endosulfon 0.1 percent carbaryl or 0.05 percent monocrotophos is effective in controlling the pest here fumigation also effective that commonly known as the selfos tablet which are available in the market which contains the main ingredients that is the aluminium phosphide which also effective to control such type of the pest here after the chemical methods the another method also effective that is the biological method here hysteroid beetle which specially fits on the larvae of that 
stem borer odoriporous longicollis here which is very effective to control the larval forms of that pest here the fungus also effective that name is the metarhizium species which cause the mortalities in the larvae of the vivid especially that metarhizium which grows on the larvae of that vivid and ultimately impact on the population of that pest here another method that is the pheromones trap by using the pheromone trap we can destroy that vivid and ultimately decline their populations also 